Hi, welcome to. I don't know. I don't really have a new podcast name actually because I am. I'm clearly planning to change my podcast name because I'm not really happy with my um, name. Fuck podcast. It's. It, I, I just. Re- I just realized that it's not really the best name. So, I certainly I will change it. So anyway, hello. <laughs> Good. Hello. How are you to every one of you? So today. It's another episode, another day. So yeah, so we're going to talk about playing. We're going to, today. We're going to talk about doing what is right and playing the game fair. So I will just ask you some sort of question. If you are the type of person who do things right and play the game fair, if your answer is yes, if you are the type of person, well, that's great. But if you're the if you answer if your answer is no. Well, get out, and you're a big shame. I'm just kidding. No, certainly you're a big shame if you cheat a lot of things and you're not doing the things right and you're not playing the games fair. You're a big shame. No, 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 I'm just kidding. Don't get out. But I want you to listen to this episode or this podcast. So maybe I will slap you some not slap, but I will tell you to some sort of things that you should be mind and should be knowing. So yeah. So let's actually. So what is doing right or What is the meaning of doing what is right? So according to Forbes, Forbes or Forbes, I think it's not Forbes, so maybe it's Forbes. So according to Forbes, doing the right thing is generally means making decisions that are not based on your own personal needs, that don't expand your popularity or enforce your personal beliefs. It means doing what is the best for greater or common good. Or in short words, doing what is right is doing the good or right thing without stepping someone else. So I hope you get the point of what is doing right. It's it's the word. It's it's the words itself. Doing what is right. Do the things. Do the thing. Do the thing what is right, or do the thing what is good, not for your own selves, but to others actually, to other people also. So probably I will tell you some sort of uh, a story of mine. So we had this activity, um, uh, activity and our. Some sort of subject which I will not tell what what subject it is because maybe some of my classmates are are listening so I don't really want to say the subject but we had this activity and we have this kind of strict ass teacher well it's not an ass but we have this strict teacher we have this strict teacher is he is really strict as heck because he always have this weird deadline that's. Every deduction, every minute that you're late, it's one point deduction. So that's the rule of his. That is the rule when. That is the rule when it comes to passing to an activity or some sort of test or some sort or some sort of personal a personal performance test or some sort. So yeah, I think I it was last Monday that we had this activity and yeah, it was last Monday, and he he. He he told that he um he talked to the class and he announces the the activity that we're going to make. It's two activity, so it means that one activity individual and the other activity is by pair, and um yeah and the deadline back is was for twenty p.m. and he gave it to us around one p.m. perhaps. So yeah, we rush, we rush doing the the activity because we knew that. If we're late, if we pass, just we pass around like four twenty one p.m. We're going to have one point deduction, which I don't want. I mean, nobody wants actually. So yeah, we rushed a lot of things, and we rushed doing the activity, knowing that the acti- doing we knowing that um, we rush all the things, and we don't know what if we're doing this right as long as we can pass. We so we actually focus on the deduction. We didn't focus on our activity that much. So yeah. We we did our activity and um, thankfully that I passed on time and same goes as my partner we passed on time, but this my dumbass we dumbass self we got a lot of deduction because I I as I said I don't know if I'm doing it right because I I was so scared about the deduction so we had got a lot of, a lot of minus so to my partner if you're listening to this I am really sorry that we had a lot of we had a lot of deduction in our activity. I'm really sorry. I hope you're doing fine in that certain subject. So anyway, and 
and we have this other classmates uh, we have this other classmates that they are by pair and that's it actually the activity too and it's the um i think yeah the other activity and it's by pair and both of them are literally like the smartest one of the smartest students in our class and they they did the activity but they passed late they actually passed the um the activity late and i think they pass it like 16 or 15 16 17 minutes late so like it's 17 or 16 deduction 16 points deduction and they had the deduction at first they had but when we checked the activity they didn't have they, they had the deduction first but they talked to my teacher to my strict teacher that sir can you not have a de- can you not let us have the deduction the 16 points deduction only them only the only those only my two classmates didn't have the deduction of 16 points deduction and that is really big unfair to the rest of us to our classmates to the rest of the class it's big unfair because they didn't have the deduction despite all of us were all of us were rushed we're rushing all the activity just to pass on time but them they didn't pass on time yet they didn't have the deduction like the 16 points deduction that is a big ass shit unfair to all of us and like my my teacher was like um okay you're not going to have the deduction and then they were both of them are like, i don't know if they're happy or what but both of them had like high score like from i don't know what score they had but at first but god 16 points they didn't have it why it's not fair like us compare us we we rush to a lot of we rush activity and we pass it on time and them passing late and not having the deduction that is big shitty unfair and they, they were like on, on their side it was like oh it's it's quite unfair because we had a lot of t- activity and blah 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 this and that and us we didn't <laughs> it's just unfair I don't know if why I don't know why my teacher um let them ha- not have the deduction maybe because they're the smartest students excuse me maybe because they are um, um does it maybe they are like oh they, they are smart as heck so maybe they don't deserve this low score big shitty unfair I will not agree on that thing when I heard that I actually I was the first one who knew about the situation because I was so near to my to that to the Oh, classmate was so near to that to them and i was like god come and just and so unfair big unfair because we rushed and them not having the deduction my god that's really unfair the system of my teacher is not fair as like it's not great it's not good it's not it's malfunctioning the system of my teacher is malfunctioning as heck and i told that to my other classmates like all of them were mad because it's big shit yeah it's it's not good they didn't do the thing right and i don't know it's just just big it's not i i i really wanted to to complain that to my teacher but i can't because i don't really want to have a conflict with my classes classmates but it's still unfair maybe i just told myself that i told that to myself and to my other classmates just to remain silent silent and have their stupid have their stupid activity or have the stupid achievement for not having that 16 points deduction let them let them have it and i just want you to tell thing i just want you to tell i just want you to remember this to all of you that doesn't mean you're on the top doesn't mean or doesn't mean you're at the top doesn't mean you're you're on the top doesn't mean or you're the smartest or the prettiest or the richest person in the whole wide world doesn't mean you're exempted to this kind of rules and to my for in my situation or in our situation they're like they're they're the smartest but doesn't mean they're not they're not exempted this kind of rules god sake please follow this rule you're not you're not playing the game fair and may I just remind you that you are the same as the others. Please, so please play the game fair, and just want to, um, just want to remind you that being the top doesn't mean you're the best. It doesn't mean you're, you did things right. Does hey, no, no, sorry, sorry. 
being on the top doesn't make you or doesn't mean you're the best you're the best of all yes you're on top but did you do things right or fair no you didn't or in my situation actually in the situation of the science activity and i just don't like those kind of people that will be on the top they don't really deserve to be on the top if they if they did not um do things right they didn't um, follow the rule i don't really i don't think they do they deserve that kind of position they don't actually they don't deserve they don't deserve being on the top they don't deserve to be on the top of the class they don't deserve to have that kind of position because they cheated okay they did not follow the rule or some sort of that and for me i i just i don't know i was so mad and at the same time i just want to be remain silent because I don't want to make a scene. So anyway, um, uh, okay. Life, re- right? Life tip: It's okay to be at the bottom because that's how life works. No, it's not. Not all the time, or not some sort of part of your life. You're not always going to be at the top. Or some sort. You're going. Sometimes you're going to be at the bottom of your life. And that's fine, actually. That. As they said a lot, as they as people said that in your life there's going to be up and ups and downs, and that's it. You're going to have ups and downs. You're not not all the time. Your your life will always going to be stable. As I, you always sometimes you're going to be at the bottom, or sometimes you're going to be at the top. Always remember that, okay? Maybe your yeah. I think I will respect to to all the or for example the people at the top some sort that you're the top and you did things right you played the game fair you did not cheat that not cheated and yeah you did not you didn't hurt anyone you didn't step on a lot of people or two people i will respect you but if you're on the top you did not follow the rule you did the wrong you did the wrong thing and you cheated i will not respect you i will not believe in you no one will believe you i certainly won't you just don't be like that okay if you want to be the best if you want to be at the top if you want to be the top one do things the do the right thing play the game fair don't cheat and certainly don't be an asshole but if you're if but if you don't if you do, but if you're an asshole and don't have the conscience you have a problem honey if you you if you think that being on you you being on top you being on top being on top and as i said i've been saying this a lot of things but you're on top and you cheated and you feel good about it girl honey you're an asshole and you don't have a conscience you don't have any conscience at all it means you have a problem honey you already have a problem about that maybe you're seeking for this and that and you really have a problem Okay, so please kindly fix that attitude or mindset of yours. Okay, a big slap to you, a big week, big wake up to a lot of you people, those people who cheated, who loves cheating just to be the top, just to be to be the best. No, please. And you think you think you think that is good, right or good? No, it's not. Okay, you're not going to be. That's not right. You're not doing good. Okay, please. Please kindly change your mindset or attitude of yours. Okay, play the game right, do things right, step on people. So yeah, in conclusion, always the oh, in conclusion, always do the right thing and play the game fair, of course. And it's okay to be at the top. It's okay. Sorry, it's okay to be at the bottom or it's okay to be beaten because that's how life works. Doesn't mean you're at the bottom. Doesn't mean you're going to stay there. You're going to be at the top, um, some sort of your life. Just do the thing. Just you're going to be at the top, um, some some sort of your life. Just do the things right and play the game fair, and don't step to a lot of people and don't cheat. Don't be a cheater, okay? Don't be a cheater. Don't cheat your score. Don't cheat some sort of things. Don't cheat on someone. Just don't be a cheater. So yeah, that's today's episode and yeah thank you so much for listening to this podcast and i'll I'll see you on the next one